today I'm going to be doing a products that I've used up and this is for the month of, I don't know, I think this last month which was April. Um, it's just kind of a bunch of different things that I've used up so I'm just going to tell you whether I like them, um, whether I would repurchase them, and yeah, some of them are like my all time favorites. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to first start off with some of the makeup products that I have because I don't have very many makeup products like always. I have a mascara here. This is the Revlon Photo Ready 3D Volume and I went to go use this the other day and it was just dried out. So I was like, okay, that's done. Um, this is what the wand looks like if you have not seen it. Uh, I did like this, but I just didn't feel like it gave me enough volume for what I liked. And especially because it was a volumizing mascara. I definitely think it was more of a separating mascara than a volumizing mascara. So I wouldn't repurchase this again. I knew I was in love with it when I first started. So maybe... I guess I could try, but I love the combination of mascara that I'm using now, so I guess I don't really see the need to do it. But overall, it was an okay mascara. I just don't think that I'm going to run out and repurchase it anytime soon, but maybe, um, I don't know, maybe I'll purchase it again another day. All right, I finished up an eyeliner pen, and I've used these forever, and I still think that they're my favorite eyeliners. Um, and I literally, like, they last an eternity, too. Um, these are the Physicians Formula Happy Booster Eye liner serum thing. They're basically just like a pen liner. These are the easiest things that I found to wing my eyeliner out. You guys know I wing my eyeliner out pretty much all the time. I don't today, of course. But I pretty much only use this. Uh, sometimes I'll use a liquid, I mean a gel liner, but for these, I mean for like really precise um, every day, these are my go-to. I love all of them. I tried the Jordana Fabu Liner, which everyone loves, but I just think it's too hard and this one's really flexible and gives me really precise, uh, I mean precise but like really quick movability so I like that it's a lot more flexible and I think those are a lot easier to use than the hard ones because like you can just kind of like glide instead of like trying and skipping and all that good stuff so love this favorite eyeliner of all time I finished a nail polish and this is like something for me um that obviously doesn't happen very often. Nail polishes don't go away that often. Um, but Shocking Pink is pretty much the only neon pink, and it's not going to show up very good on camera. It's way prettier in person. It's the only pink that I wear on my toes pretty much religiously. Um, oh, can you see Bella? <laughs> she just came to say hi. Uh, so, yeah, I pretty much use this only on my toes. It doesn't last very long on my nails, but it is just really dried out. And Sally's just had a deal, buy one, get one, um free on China Glaze nail polishes, so I picked up a new one, and I love it. It's like my go-to summer color. It just doesn't last on my nails. If you know neons, they chip really easily on the nails, so that's the only thing that kind of stinks with that. I finished up two of these little um, wallflower plugins, and I actually have two more that are done as well. I feel like I've been going through these so quickly, and I haven't been getting the scent out of them, so I don't know if something's wrong with them or it's not strong enough or maybe I'm just immune to it I don't know um but yeah I finished up two more of these I think this was fireside antique wood mahogany which is the one that I have in both of them now so that's lot I finished up a body scrub this one's my favorite body scrub I repurchase this all the time and I think it will be my favorite forever you can get this at like Ulta and Walmart and stuff like that it's the tree hut Do you guys hear that? <laughs> the person above me is like, I don't know, doing some crazy thing. But anyways, don't doesn't he work? It's, it's Friday. Anyways, so this is the Brazilian Nut, which is my favorite scent um, of all time. It's just the perfect exfoliator for me. It's not too harsh, but it's harsh. It's, it's just perfect. And it's really, really cheap. I think it's like six bucks or something like that. So amazing body scrub. Cannot live without it. Um, a body wash that I finished up this month was a Bodycology one. I think I had these like forever. I don't even know how long I've had this stuff for, but I used this up. I didn't like it. It was really too liquidy and I just did. I prefer my caress ones. So I went back to using a caress one. So I just finished this up, but I just got it out of the way. And yeah, the smell wasn't bad though. This was in cloud nine. I just don't like these kind of body washes. I don't know. I just don't. Anyways, um, I finished up a sunscreen and as you can tell, well, I don't know if you can tell, but Florida's been really, really warm, and I've been getting my tan on, laying outside, and all that good stuff, but it's important to use a sunscreen. This was just a really low one, and I purchased the 30 one now, but this brand is what I want to tell you is my favorite sunscreen, because the spray sunscreens leave me feeling, like, tight and not happy, and some of the liquid sunscreens like this can leave you feeling greasy and gross, but the Hawaiian Tropics Sheer Touch sunscreen, it's so nice. It's, like, it blends right in, it doesn't sit on the skin, it makes your skin look really, really nice, and I love this stuff, and the smell is, is really, really nice. So, 
I highly recommend this sunscreen if you're checking it out. The only issue is that they only carry it up to 30, which kind of stinks, but that's okay. Um, but it's water resistant, UVA, UVB, and uh, it's just awesome. It's a really, really good sunscreen. So I feel like if you hate sunscreen, try this out because at least even a 15 or a 30 will be something better than um, nothing at all. But I've been reading some really bad things about sunscreen that some of the ingredients in sunscreen are actually causing you more harm then good. The chemicals in them are so bad for your body, which is kind of scary. Um, and then you know, like if you go to like an all-natural set of sunscreen, you can be paying hundreds of dollars for them. They're ridiculously expensive. So I don't know, kind of just have to pick and choose, but I do recommend sunscreen. So I like this one. That's my favorite brand. Another lotion for like a daily lotion is the Cocoa Butter Formula. Um, this is the Palmer's one. This stuff's my legit jam. I um, bought this one because they didn't have the pump version and I just filled my pump one up. I just love the way it smells. It's awesome for sun, sun problems, um, like burns or really, really dry, flaky skin. This stuff's phenomenal. I like using it as a nighttime moisturizer when I get out of the shower. I love it. It's just really thick, super hydrating, and the smell is phenomenal. So I don't think I've not liked anything so far. These are all like my favorite products, if you can't tell. I finished a toner. Um, this is the Clean and Clear um, Essentials Deep Cleansing Toner with Salicylic Acne Acid Medicine, whatever you know what I mean. Um, I did purchase another one of these. I purchased the Sensitive so one. So my camera just shut off. I don't know why. But regardless, um, I repurchased this one. I purchased the blue one. This was like pink. Um, I repurchased the blue one, which was for sensitive skin because I felt like this was drying me out a little too much. And I switched to the exfoliating cotton rounds from Target, which I love. Um, so I think maybe in the combination it was like too much for my skin, but I really did like the exfoliating ones. So I switched to the sensitive one of this and, uh, yeah, I like it. But I love Clean and Clear's toners. They're just really quick, awesome, and easy, and delightful. I finished a deodorant, really boring. I know it's the Degree Expert Protection, the Motion Sense, and I purchased another one of these because it's my favorite deodorant, but I didn't purchase the Motion Sense one, so I hope that uh, I don't smell bad. I don't smell bad right now, so hopefully it works. <laughs> All right, I finished up boring again, and contact room, um, contact solution but yay I'm actually taking out my contacts all the time go Kelly um, this is just the one that you don't have to rub like you don't have to rub them together so awesome I finished up the mouthwash and this was kind of sad for me to finish up because you guys know I'm stupid but regardless um, Mike bought this for me when we lived together and he moved back and I was like oh finished it it made me kind of sad even though he's been gone a really long time but I didn't start this until like I don't know, probably like a month and a half ago, a month ago. So it wasn't like I, you know, have been going with one bottle. I have not repurchased this yet. I probably will. Um, I need to get a new mouthwash because I'm out. And then last but not least is the um, cleansing conditioner that I've been raving about, if you watch any of my videos, by Pantene. Oh, I love this stuff. It just came out. It's like five, six bucks at the drugstore. Uh, it's like the WEN deep conditioner or cleansing conditioner. It's sulfate free. The sweet almond oil is the one that I have. I don't know if they make any other sense, but it's phenomenal. I've already gone through one. It does go by pretty quickly, especially if you have long hair, but it's freaking amazing. And I think of it as like, if I were to buy a full set of shampoo and conditioner, I'd be paying $10 and that lasts me like, you know, a month, two months probably shampoo and conditioner does. And so I feel like one a month isn't that bad because it's like two months worth of, you know, whatever. Regardless, I love this stuff. I will continue to purchase it. I love the pump. I love the ease it. I just love everything. And it's really helped my hair because I don't know if you guys can tell, but I did go lighter. Um, when I went home for Easter, my mom put a little bit more bleach on my hair because I wanted to go blonder for the summer, but that's always damaging, right? So, and I had to cut some ends off, which made me sad, but it really helps with my dead ends. And and I use a lot less it's a 10 because I'm like getting into the roots and like it almost like leaves my hair completely detangled when I get out of the shower which is phenomenal so yeah those are all the products that I've used up for the month of April um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know any products that you have uh, used up recently or recommend any products down below for me guys also give me some video recommendations I kind of feel like I need to get back into the swing of things once school's ending and kind of would like to see what you guys are interested in I know you guys want to see like a daytime and a nighttime routine I was thinking about doing a skincare video um, so yeah, let me know. I also want to do a get ready for me, get ready with me graduation video. So thumbs up this video if you want to see me get ready for my college uh, graduation like outfits and a little bit of the vlog style sort of thing. So let me know and uh, yeah, I love you guys and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys!